Hello, hello, and good evening. Uh, my name is Victorian John, and I'm joined by Victorian Ooh, voice actor extraordinaire. Yeah. And we're here playing Dear Athena uh, as part of my Steam. Oh, is that gonna... I don't know what the right name. Hold on, what name is this? Dear Athena, Athena, Dear Athena. As part of my Steam cleaning series, where I get through every game in my Steam library, eventually then arbitrarily rate and review them at the playtime. I don't quite know what this game is, but I think it's about random, but um, I was warned when I purchased this that this is an adult game. I don't know what to an extent that means exactly, but um, I know there's, it's Thursday. Um, I just love, this is such a great, I, I, I love diegetic stuff. Music, menus, everything. I love it when it's diegetic. And and I know there's only two options I have here, but like I'm really hoping that this they keep this menu aesthetic because like it's that little touch that takes you out of it like oh new you know, just like just blocks on the side. Like this this is this is nice. So we're gonna get into it. Oh, good old Cole. Never changing from that. No, sir, I will not skip this cutscene. Oh, okay. So again, in 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 world here, let's double check our option. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Perfect. New game. Dear Althea. Oh, is this? I don't know if this is voice acted. I didn't check. Do you want it to be voice acted or not? That's the real question. A visual novel in Victoria era. A re-signification of the novel Dear Faustina, written by Rhoda Bergon. In 19, 1897, in this in this play, the decision maker will change the destiny of Athena's life. Manual games that no, I will never save. Tia's. That's very ominous. I'm I'm gonna click. Oh. Oh, that's someone's butt. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Oh. Boston Bateson. Bate oh, it's Bateson. <laughs> I want uh Tears. The accent with with which the monosyllable is uttered through temp though tempered with leniency is undoubtedly one of reproach. The person whom it is addressed recognizes it as such, though it is not at once a quite drying effect upon her. Oh, uh, what? Crying again? Oh, oh, choice. Go to... Remember, Faustina. Okay, sorry. Faustina, Faustina remembers all those times she has seen her cry, but she prefers not to say anything and wipes her tears with a handkerchief. Wow, that's very forward. What do you think of her do? That's a really good style. It's a really good style. Oh, we got a character sheet. Superficial analysis. Faustina Bateson. Do I, oh, MJ Brothers, cheap. Oh, wow, we're investigating her, cheap. Fabrics made in factory and cotton yarn in far flung British colonies. Fabric shows a lot of wear and tear. Oh, Endor and hair puddle. This is so cool. Like, this is also a little creepy. Like, you're just like, I'm going to just get do a full, like, body scan Terminator test style. But, like, yeah. <laughs> it's not so creepy here because, like, you're, you're, this is a character being introduced to, you know? That's a good cut. That is a really good cut on her. Uh, removes all oil and absorbent and will keep hair dry and fluffy without the use of water. The powder absorbs oil from the hair. Okay. Also, again, dye, like filling in here. Furnt and white handkerchief, perfectly fused floral. Perfectly, profusely decorated with floral lace motifs. The scarf can be seen to be heirloom due to wear. Are we like a psychic detective? Noob's paper with real news. Cheap side. New labor law. Oh, that doesn't fit perfectly. Universe remains closed. Oh, shoes. Well, okay, where else do I click? I like, like where we're... It's gotta be shoes, right? Yep. Shoes, the little fox. The best footwear for ladies made with durable and soft fox fur. Smooth heel and toe, shiny black buttons. The shoes are quite warm for every use. Oh, that's her boob. 
Oh, her face, yeah. Parisian, the best potly moisturizer. Okay. We're missing two things. Yeah. Well, it's that again, it's that diagenic thing where like this is this this could be a newspaper ad. So I mean, they're mail I don't know what these missing two are. Oh, there we go. The soap. We missed the soap there, yeah. Uh, made in England. Faustian Basin is a 24-year-old, 24, is 24 years old and has been a columnist in several newspapers for several years. She didn't use the same word twice. She has no contact with her family. In addition to her articles, she is known for her public speeches in favor of the great cause. I don't know what the great cause is. She recently got a house in Moore Mansion, a cheap place for cheese plays in Chelsea for independent women. Independent women is a euphemism? <laughs> okay. Oh, do we just say thanks or do we really dig in? Really? Oh, so you think it's just the, the less is more here? Hot mess. They, oh my goodness, they cannot compete with the beauty of your now tearless eyes, she says with a smile, slides, smile slides back into her pocket. Why do I see you cry now? Her tone is deferential. Okay. It certainly is, but I don't think this is such a case. The elder girl has sat down by her young friend and is speaking in the tone of a passionate crushingness, which is used to used which used to belong to love, but which female friendship has lately stolen from his quiver. Wow. Love is capitalized, I'm assuming it's Cupid is what they mean. Yeah. Again, this is I think the native language is Spanish, so As Faustina sits down and puts her newspaper on the bench, can bench, like can be read on the back, the paper that in 1846 there were estimated 1.3 million poor people in Britain, but the situation is no better four decades later. Yeah. You have beautiful eyes, you know. In them, you can see the most thoughtful and kind nature. This is a lot of good choices. <laughs> Okay. I, you know, I about yeah. We're in media res here, right? Uh, we said that line. Yep. I do. Oh, this is you. Oh, this is me. Sorry. In my, the name was gone there. Yeah. In my opinion, so far we're having caused, having caused. In my opinion, so far from cause having caused your tears, you have every reason for doing the other thing. Yes. Oh. The edge of that loss is blunted by six months. You are not crying for him. I would perjure myself pretty freely with that object I own, but as in this case, there is no need. The break, the break up of your home is indispensable to your mental development. As long as your father's regime lasted, you were like an oak in a flower pot. Sooner or later, the pot must have cracked. Athena shakes her head. 
Oh, they put is that Victorian put a little mask over it when someone dies? Yeah. I would I would buy it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Superstition or process. Oh, how was your relationship with your dad here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to say, uh, let's say, oh, I'm, uh, can you speak for a second? No, we're not good. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, we're not getting your voice. One second. Oh no, I know. How about now? Well, you do that. I have to run downstairs for two seconds. Okay. All right, we're back. Now we have MPG. Hi, MPG. Uh, hi. Hi. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. We didn't have your voice for the first 10 or so minutes. My yeah. apologies. That's uh, okay. No, we're good now. All right, so are we. Agreeing that we that our dad wasn't all great, or were we very very happy with him? Um, I want to say we were very happy with him. We were very happy with him. Um, no background here. Uh, a small yeah. smile breaks in, a sm at the small break in her speech, indicating the depth and the sincerity of her reflect. Regretful, regretful. The departing Philistine, Faustine. Philistine, Faustina. Hmm. <laughs> Feeling pressed. Freely pressing her hand and deemed just as to pass onto a branch of the subject, which she may feel herself on firmer ground. I don't know why we lost the background. Yeah. As to your sister drifting away from you, it was in the nature of things that she should can two walks together, except they be agreed, as your fine bo old book says. of Amos is not my book. The biblical book of the Old Testament written by Amos. Um, I would say the book of Amos is not my book. Okay. There you go. Book of Amos is not there. my book. I know. I just wanted to make a little joke. Faustina says, not realizing that, that Althina does not hear her. He used to agree as well as most sisters in the old days, she rejoins regretfully. Since my father's death, since Claire's engagement subjects, uh, since Claire's engagement, subjects of difference seems to have sprung up between us. There are some topics on which there is no use pretending that we think alike. Okay. So I have to ask a yeah. question here. I have to ask a question here. First off, obviously we've de we've detected, you and I, that English is not the first language. Right. Uh, and there's some, some roughness around here. But my question is, is that... Do you think this is just the font thing for pretending or is this like intentionally like to pretending like to really emphasize a speech pattern i'm gonna err on the side uh, that's not intentional but i think it was not intentional um i know that there were a lot of um places where there would be a hyphenation um you know previous like older mm. versions of english but i don't know that pretending was one of them yeah so i think that this is i think that this is just a translation issue yeah well Bina, um, you are the victorian scholar on this call so i want to make sure that we're doing this right <laughs> hey <laughs> your humble uh, i have a question for, for yes. i have a question yes who is the protagonist althea or faustina i think althea is because we investigated faustina that's true yeah i mean we can Um, well, I mean, I mean, I think so, but you don't, we never know if we like change perspective. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But we're, but, but the, but, well, this is, the, this is the thing is that right now we're making, we're choosing Athena's voice and the game is called Dear yes. Athena. So I think, right. So do you think our Mary does, do you think our sister does not marry well or she thinks? Um, she certainly does not think that. Okay, so is the sister, is this a situation where the sister realizes that her sister is, um, is a lesbian and, you know, is being all judgy about it? Um, I, in that way, I, I'd rather do the second one. The cer she certainly does not marry well. Okay. Of just being like, you know, 
Faustina smiles in her last way, although she tries to hide it so that Althena will not notice. <coughs> although we were not alike in our natures, we were very much in uh, at one in many of our opinions and in our complete want of sympathy with all my mother's methods and our indignation at the way in which she tried to ride roughshod over my father's wishes. Okay. That is a very Victorian sentence of ever. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. All my mother's methods. It's such a good, yes. such a good phrase. <laughs> she did not succeed, rather dryly. No, because since nature was too strong, uh, was too, too, too strong one, but now that the check of his farm hand is removed, now that the check of his farm hand is removed, I dread to think what ex eccentricity she may run into. Oh. Oh, okay. That what? All right. So a little bit of casual slapping you around your wife is yeah, uh... yeah. <laughs> and that's how, like what I was asking before, like the language, like yeah. There also is Victorian double speak here. Like to to actually yeah. capture it, you have to like they can't speak freely because a yeah. I believe these ladies do like the ladies, but also yeah. based on the game on Steam, um, she breaks off the subject as if the subject was too painful. A one. Painful a one to bear further pursuing. There is a silence. Ooh. Hello. Well, I mean. Did I mention there's puzzle yeah. solving in this game? Alright. So match, match the, the sunburst. Yeah. You're clicking on the buttons surrounding the locket until the silver strands have unfolded. Oh. Interesting. A little bit of a hog element. Well, that was no puzzle. I just clicked all the buttons, but oh, okay. I mean, we'll see how they like. Hey, I, I, I like. I personally like visual novels have a little more interactivity to them. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people don't. Yeah. It seems so ungrateful looking back to think how I disliked you all through that first visit, how I misjudged your views and disbelieved in your aspirations and hated your short hair parted on one side. Oh, damn. <laughs> she is. All right, even now, hesitatingly, I rather regret that your example induced mother to adopt the same style of hair dressing. Oh, <laughs> oh. Mom, mom went for an undercut. Oh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> it may have been my example. It was certainly not my precept. I think that's a good cut. Yeah. No, I think it's... Oh, this is I a mean, good one for you. How fun you are, she says with a slight smile. I'm sorry I cannot join you in your joy. Um, let's say how fun you are. That's okay. Yeah. She says with a slight smile. Faustina smiles with pleasure. All right. It had not been for my father's death and your extraordinary and most unexpected sympathy and kindness for it to me at the time and at, at that time and afterwards i dare say we might never have been drawn together oh but you are so kind her eyes filling i love the like i love the like um Ooh. stage direction Ooh. that comes with this yeah yeah there is no it, it, it almost it almost comes off like um darmok and yeah Chilak. yeah well <laughs> like i i think and you can back me up you can back me up or disagree here i think I think you want to go hard on this. Like you want to over, yeah. like this is like teenage acting level. Like you want everything. Cause yeah. you know, there is no question of kindness where one loves. Like these are such, <laughs> such yeah. over the top lines. Like you have to lean in. You have to like yeah. be aware. Yeah. This is interesting because oh. they, they already have, Oh, I mean, let's look into Faustina's eyes. Cause, uh, if there were anything settled as to my future, resumes the younger girl presently, whatever it might be, I hope it should be, I should be able to make up my mind to it. But though it is six months since dear father's death, mother has yet, uh, has yet given no indication of what plans she has formed for us. Oh, arranged marriages could be on the dock. On the oh, dock yeah. So I'm going to back out here for a second. Uh, I am not a super fan of these faces here, but I like yeah. the background stuff more. Yeah. Um, 
the reason primarily why is that they keep going left like they, their eye lines are off yeah like it's not yeah. like the, the, the image is fine but like the eye lines keep moving around i'm like i'm losing concept of where the space is based on where the faces are looking yeah so yeah, it's harder to compose the scene yeah like keep a face straight on is, is probably better. yeah no indication lifting her eyebrows well, no doubt that is the wrong word to use, of course. One can see it, see in what direction her bent lies, but I do not quite understand understand how that is to be combined with forming a home for her children. Um, hmm, interesting. Perhaps, Perhaps it's not enter into her scheme. So, yeah, she, I mean, you know. You're supposed uh, to be married off by now. You're 24, lady. You're you're yeah. A, you're you're a turning into an old maid. Yeah. yeah. I will say also that they are using a lot of background scenes. Like they're, mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're pretty simple, but like a lot of visual novels, they'll use one scene for like 45 yeah. minutes of dialogue. Yeah. I know mine will. <laughs> um, that she means to turn us adrift. Do you mean? I I are want we in to on know... it or do you, are we are we are we naive? Um. Let's let's be in on it. But she means to turn us adrift. And her eyes opening wide as if the idea presented for the first time had something scary in it. You are pretty well full fledged. <clears throat> full fledged. Um, I see great kindness in keeping well grown young birds in a nest too small for them. Then as the novelty of the idea, too new as yet to take any of the pleasant coloring conveyed by her friend's tone, keeps Althena silent, she goes on. Clara has turned, or is turning herself out. Your brothers, with their embryo professions, are hovering on the very edge. Fanny, though her wing, feathers may not be quite grown, will soon be fit to fly. Like, I, I have to trust you others. Like, this this yeah. feels like very, like, encoded Victorian, like... Who's screaming? Can you please just talk modern? Is like, yeah. So but this is yeah. The your phrase brothers, embryo your professions are... is so good. Yeah. Fanny's only oh. seventeen. Fanny's just a kid. Do you it respect doesn't, doesn't her count. age, or do you do you dismiss her age? Uh, seventeen is you. You would be you would be on your debut at that point. Yeah. You would be looking for. So I would say Fanny's just a kid. It does not count. So we disrespect her age. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there is no. I guess that's. I don't know. There's yeah. some gaps in who's speaking. Oh, yeah. there's no cause of fear for Fanny with vague indifference. And and I, I am certainly quite full fledged, but I should be glad to have some idea with a slight return of unsteadiness in the voice, in what direction my first flight is to be made. I, I don't know about you, but I think there's a double entendres here. Yeah, that's just it. Like the double entendre doesn't really work in a Victorian time because you know you don't you don't get first flights in Victoria. <laughs> you know, Victorian times you you marry off, uh, and that is your only. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, I don't know if flight is 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 exactly you know mm -hmm. that, but like maybe she doesn't know who her first fancy is going to be. I'm, hmm. Yeah. Can you have any doubt upon that head? That some affectionate approach is meant to be conveyed by the question is plain from the speaker's manner, but Athena is too preoccupied to observe it. <laughs> I think that mother must have made up her mind, must have some proposal to make to us, or some ultimatum to convey by the gravity with which she asked us all to meet her in the library at four o'clock. That moment, little Fanny trots down the stairs together with the maid who transports the girls' games to the next location. Almost without stopping on her way, she greets her sister and fr her friend. Friend should be in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Gal pals. Good morning, ladies. Do you know if it will not be long? Do you know? Do you know it will not be long before Mother sends for us? I think. Uh, I think she will wait by the library door. Then you will not be able to say that I am always late for everything. I think you should do the same, sister. Oh, oh, we oh. got to inspect Oh, Fanny. here we go. Let's, let's inspect this 17-year-old. Fragrance Butte. Okay. Beautiful She's wearing perfumes. And bows. Silverware Topilio. Deep softness. Deep softness. Oxford, Oxford shoes. French made lady socks with, with heel protector. Yeah. All right. 
Good leather. Expensive black monkeys. Yeah. Monkey skin belt. Magic Brothers. Newly bought dress. We're missing one. Yeah. We didn't get anything from her skin. Um. Hold on. What's that hanging off of her belt? That's oh, this, that's part that's of the belt. Okay. There. All right. Oh. Her bows. Her bows are here. We're missing two, actually. Oh. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the pixel hunting. Yeah. I mean, this is probably like. Whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so we have the fragrance. Um, superficial. I mean, I love the name superficial. In, in yeah. Uh, did we click on her face at all? Are we getting anything about I like, her I makeup on her face. or her? Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're missing, we must not have gotten the shampoo. The bows are probably covering up. Yeah. Dana Paris. Fanny Bay is 17 years old and the youngest sister, although she is much loved and brings happiness wherever her relentless steps take her. Her sisters have always thought that she is not very intelligent because of the age difference between them. Wow. She loves everything to do with France, <laughs> but what she likes the most are parties and dances. Um. Yeah, I think you're right. Like the 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 hidden object stuff is a little, the, the the pixel hunt is is awkward here, but yeah, this is such a good yeah introduction it's, it to a eight. character like it is yeah, i go ahead we yeah we know about fanny now it's yeah. just yeah i just feel like it was really you know i knew those last couple of pixels is is really annoying yeah. um it's really close yeah. like this is the difference between like in some sense like you know a small budget game and a large budget game like i i see this and go like man this is this is worth you know learning from when introducing characters because like you learn so much and they don't give you this description until you like see the person and like oh look at the right. shoes you wear why is she, oh she's wearing these specific everything is expensive 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 mm -hmm. expensive expensive yep. you know yeah newly bought expensive she's dress wearing... expensive black monkey you know um she's, she's wearing it is an expensive perfumes. perfume like they really yeah yeah, yeah she I, I, is I, definitely on the make like she wants to be you know like yeah kept yeah so I, I love this this style here. I think this is really good yeah. um, on a way to learn for the characters. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at. <laughs> oh, this is unlocked. Uh, I wonder what that means. Oh, let's. Yeah. Well, let's let's go. I mean, you know, if we can unlock it. Where are you going with the mirror? Because of Thomas, he takes it off to annoy me, and he really bothers me a lot. Every day that passes, Thomas is more annoyed with me. I do not think I can stand it anymore. So I assume Thomas is a brother. Yeah. Suddenly he realizes the sadness. In... I'm not sure who he is. I'm assuming yeah. suddenly she realizes the sadness in her sister's eyes. Although they do now, they no longer denote her having cried. Still, transmits some sadness. So I think Fanny is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Althea, why do you not draw again in that notebook of yours? Every time you draw, you seem to be very happy. Besides, I love your drawings. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is... <coughs> wow. Be able to listen to you and start drawing. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I yeah. Thought... Okay. Yeah, I think that one is... Maybe I will listen to you and start drawing. And then she says... Fanny smiles contently, and after this, she goes to the door with a joyful walk she always takes. Okay. It is nearly that now, is it not? Again, I don't know if that's Victorian or bad it's translation. Not, it, it, it is nearly that now, is not it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a very poorly translated. I cannot tell you uh, with what vague and yet strong dread I look forward to her announcement. I have tried to face every possible contingency, and yet she breaks off. Tell me, what lenient indulgence as to a sick child? Oh, this is how she's speaking. Tell yeah, me, yeah. With the, with the lenient indulgence as to a sick child, a few of the bugbears you have conjured up, I am not afraid of what being able to lay them. Not... There is not time, and it would not be worthwhile, as we shall soon know the worst. Okay. Still, it may ease your heart a little. 
Oh, though you say that, I have outgrown her, and perhaps in some ways I have thanks to you, gratefully. Yet I'll miss Claire dreadfully when it is just me and my mother, for the boys will be, of course, away, and Fanny is too young and unformed to count much. I fear that the radical discrepancies between all our tastes and feelings will come out terribly strong. I do not think it can... I can... It can be quite our fault, but we have none of us ever been able to get near mother. So, yeah, Ma mother is mother. Overbearing, yeah. <laughs> this is actually, yeah. when I was, now that you read, like, this sounds like Elcor. This is like written like an Elcor. Yeah! <laughs> she ought never have married, replies Faustina gravely. That was the brute mistake of her life, as it has been so many millions of other women. Whoa! Faustina! Yeah. Now that she has regained, regained the use of her wings, no, no space. Athena looks at her confused. What? I'm only putting the state of the case before you from her point of view. It remains to be seen what point of the compass she will fly. Hmm. I'll fly with her, rejoins Athena with a disconsolate intonation. And shall I have to fly with her? I would love to fly with her. Do you think she will let me? Um, Are you with her? I would say the left. Yeah, yeah. I would say the left one. Will like, mother force I'm you versus not... you want to go with mother? Yeah. So I have to assume these choices are like character like helping us that's what the unlock was like how independent mm -hmm. we are and stuff yeah and shall i have to fly with her rejoins althea with a disconsolate intonation Oof. ah there is the clock striking do not let us use a minute do not let us a minute late seizing the hand of her friend and pulling her towards the door can't wait to meet mom with her I want to be like as Faustine. They, yeah, we got to leave mom. As they hurry down the stairs, Faustine, Bateson, and Miss Athena Vane meet the other members of the Later's family, and all with equal haste converging to the rendezvous. Apparently, all are as anxious as, as herself to learn their destiny. The two boys, whom the superior speed of long legs, one of goes by without the notice, the other uh, and younger, essays his trifling schoolboy pinched on this sister, the oldest sister. The older sister, who also emerges from upper chambers, half holds out her hand as if encouraging to Athena, but seeing her fingers already possessed by Faustina, drops it quickly. Oh. Oh, does not. Does not approve. Does not approve. As they reach the door of the library, Faustina pauses. Had I better not leave you here, darling. This is a purely family matter, offering to loosen her grasp. Grasp? Clasp? Okay. Oh. Um... um. Gosh, that is, that's hard. Um, I would say this, you better wait outside. I agree, I, I, mean, I agree, yeah. Yeah. Don't anger um, mom. Don't anger mom. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. Yes, you better wait outside. Oh. <gasps> oh. oh no. The books are, for the most part, obviously, the accommodation of respectful generation. However, the trash that covers the big writing table is obviously new. Reports, schedules, books of reference, types, written letters, social socialist journals. Yes. This table seating a Larry, who, as soon as her ear tells by the cessation of any rustling or footsteps that the audience has arrived and awaiting her, rises and turns slowly around to face them. Here comes mommy. Here comes they follow the others, mommy. already seating themselves in chairs in a, in a set in a row as the, for family prayers, although Miss Bain would have scorn the simile. Oh wow, she's like a military garbed. Yeah. The window might, uh, the window might add a pinch, and behind a table which would conceal the degradation of the female skirt, well past for a little, for a little widower, she stands or a second silent, not collecting herself or speaking womanly words or modes of expression, since when it does come, her speech flows with perfect round fluency, but calmly eyeing the row of young people before her. Her hands are lightly clasped in front of her, nor does she need to echo out her s easy oratory by any of the awkward and anguished, anguished gestures with which the ordinary Anglo-Saxon, when forced on to his unwilling legs, tries to ease the birth pains of his stillborn fanny. Of his fancy, stillborn fancy. Stillborn hands. fancy, yeah. Oof. She quietly, she quietly meeting her hearer's anxious eyes with her own cool, steady gray ones, she begins. I have asked, oh wow, <laughs> I have asked you to meet me here today because I thought it simpler to tell you all collectively what otherwise I should have to communicate to each separately. This day is a day of crisis in all our lives. We're broke, right? We're broke? Yep. yep. Oh God, we're so broke. We're so broke. 
She pauses a moment, she gave eventually all of no, her money to yeah, eventually, socialists. Yeah, eventually from no difficulty in proceeding, but with the calculated intention of letting those few pre pre preparatory words have time to sink into the soil of her hearer's mind. Sink into the soil of her hearer's mind. Th like translation errors aside, like the prose mm -hmm. is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, so so Fanny was everything was rich, 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 rich. Yeah. And um uh yeah, Faustina got... was like cheap. Let's see what fan let's see what, what mama's doing here. Expensive Gilver, the precious chanting bag is made from seal pup leather. Oh. Mm. Expensive bestoke black dress, massively glowed linen, duck, and pongi and seer sucker. I don't know what seer sucker is. Mm. Seer sucker is um a type of leather. It's jewelry. like that. Gold plated pocket watch. Look at that. I also mm. I also will say like this is a really great way to see the details in the character you would never never get the close ups for. Yeah. Beautifully designed precious flower. Okay. Softer and flexible. This shoe company. Medium width shoes designed for older ladies. Oh. Yeah. Bar K Foundries. London Lotto. Okay. So now we're now we're picking she's up. She's wearing a tie. Yeah. All right. So again, we're missing a few items. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, that's her. Oh, with a there ticket in there. The uh, ticket entails the bear Miss Vane to FB passage on the voyage, leading perils of the sea to the United States of the sh on the ship Yorkshire. Scheduled to take uh, place in a couple days. Dun dun oh, dun. Man. I'm leaving for the bear America. Um, we need one more thing. I I feel like if I don't get them all, I, I, she have we, dentures. Click on her teeth. I, I'm <laughs> clicking. I haven't got anything yeah. for her face. Yeah. I feel like we should get something. Oh, I moved one. Her? Uh oh. It was fragrance. Yeah. Oh, this might be slightly broken. All right, I'm gonna hit. End. I think that's um the the Fanny's fragrance. I think it's oh, a little bit broken. You're right, right, right. Um, oh, I'm gonna just hit end. I think. Yeah. The ticket, 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 ticket. I'm gonna check all the buttons. Yeah. We have her 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 brooch. Yeah. I got her shoes. All right, I'm gonna hit end. I don't know what the last. I mean, I feel bad. Yeah. But like, oh, her yeah, wedding oh. ring. Her wedding ring. Okay. Baxter Vane is Athena's. <laughs> Athena's mother. She was not a loving mother. Wow, to her sons and daughters, but she strove to give them the best education, and treat them in the most respectful way. After the blood of husbands, she sees the opportunity to live the activist life she always thought she would be destined to live. Now she becomes clear that there is no place for her children in this new life. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, so she's not broke. They're broke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that twist. You have you have known dimly perhaps and vaguely, for I have never explained them categorically to you, knowing with what an absolute want of sympathy the the would have been met, the aims and aspirations of my life, and how entirely they have hitherto been frustrated by this light and telling hiatus circumstances <laughs> oh. oh you guys are just circumstances, circumstances. wow That's what, uh, again <laughs> if the translation was clean a little bit like the prose is like it's ooh. yeah athena puts her handkerchief to her mouth a sob is rising her throat at this to all her children very apparent allusions to their fa uh, father Time has now come when I am at liberty to obey the call, which has for many years been ringing in my ears. Another effective pause. To some of you, perhaps, her eyes rest on, for an instant doubt, fully on Althea, may have come a glimmer of comprehension of what my enforced disregarding of that call has cost me. But on this branch of the subject, it is needless to dwell. I have only briefly to indicate to you my scheme for the future. A tiny rustle expectation, a caught in breath, tell what with what eager attention the little audience is listening. 
it is probably unknown to you all and irrepressible that within the last few months, a brand of women thinkers and workers has collected together and formed itself into a society whose object and aim is the redressing of the balance the balance as between a man and a woman, in between rich and poor, as between the treader down and the trodden. It's literally right, socialist so, books. I never yeah, thought, <laughs> thought it was like a... <laughs> socialist feminism. Uh, she's not or looking she's at her children now, feminist. but on to the unseen future of battle with the lightning eye. <laughs> you may, whoa, damn. You may object to the calling back of her attention to the row of forgotten faces before her. But in such a society, there is nothing novel. But the hundred such have within the last few years of awakening out of sleep sprung into being, and I'm quite willing to grant it. That which differentiates this society from all others is, firstly, that it applies itself not to any one branch of the subject, but to the whole colossal body of it, to the redressing of the balance as between every wronger and every wronged in each stratum of society, in each nationality, and in every quarter of the globe. And secondly, which is perhaps a necessary corollary, that it demands and will take nothing less, the whole being, the entire life, with no reservations, the soul, body, heart, and energies of each of its members. Of course, it's bodily right, so fluids. Like, yeah, precious bodily fluids. I, I joined this cult. I... <laughs> And Itis, with deep sense of pride and trembling consciousness of the responsibility attached to so great an office that I make the statement, have been offered the presidency of this society. Okay. I believe it says I and it is with a deep, not Itis. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a case like, of Itis. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> she stops, not because her theme, uh, her theme, other breath is exhausted. Uh, that's. Mm. But as if to give time and opportunity for any challenge of or objection to her purpose that may be offered. The other son throughout the interview has kept his eyes resolutely fixed on the wooden floor as if no other method could be enough convey, he could enough convey his utter disapproval of and protest against this whole proceeding. None such comes. It is uh, received in total silence without even the faint expression expectant rustle that has accomplished her opening sentence, she proceeds. It must be apparent to the meanest capacity, each of the speaker's five sons and daughters has the impression that the superlative adjective is applied with the special sense of its fitness to him or herself. Oh, man. Yeah. Each one of them is like, she thinks I'm dumb. Yeah. <laughs> that the carrying out of such a scheme as I have sketched is incompatible with the cares and duties of family life. Damn. Damn, Baxter Vane, you go hard. I know, Baxter Vane, like ballin'. <laughs> Claire is turning her engagement ring round and round upon her finger as if only by holding on tight to the happy fact that it symbolizes she can endure the painfulness of the present ordeal. She's gonna get dumped once her husband knows she ain't rich. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, look at Obviously, that Obviously, the, the bands, yeah. gold, gold, mm -hmm. gold. English textiles. The chair is not an item. Her MMTY gloves, a uh, lovely 42 necklace. Scottish fur ears. the USA though, oh. Her earring. Skunk her hair. facial powder. Her keep your hair curly. Yeah. Oh, and, the, and uh, weeping willow essence. All right, and then we just need one more. One more. We got the mink stole. And her um, lip, red lip blusher based on root. Oh. Oh. Uh. Claire Vane is 23 years old. Okay. And the eldest daughter. Uh, she has always been very close to Athena, though lately they have drifted apart because of their different points of view. The traditional life, expected woman, is something she always wanted to live and soon be married to William Baltimore. For those cares, those duties, I have never in been endowed with any special aptitudes. Yet to those cares, those duties has been already sacrificed. What must prove far more half uh, than half of an existence destined as I think, though here you will probably nay certainly not be in accord with me to higher and broader uses. I have wasted my life. life on I wasted half my life raising you children. <laughs> Once again, her Once eyes, again, oh, her lifted eyes right. lighten, and for a second, well, a well checked yet visible emotion hinders her clear and ready utterance 
During the past years, many women might have ordered dinners and arranged social engagements better than I. Few, comparatively few, women have, as I believe, ever been so penetrated with the pity of humanity. So I gotta just make a little okay. pause here. This game was marked as adult content. If this is, if this, <laughs> if this is what most adult content was like on Steam, we would have a very different society. Because this oh, is yeah. all like socialism and and like you know women going their mm -hmm. own way. Kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, her voice sinks a little, weighed down by no counterfeiting, counterfeit feeling, but in the next sentence rises again alertly as if bore up, bore upwards on glad wings. Course of time, the chain of circumstances have enabled me at length to throw the reins on the neck of that pity. Uh, no traveling lesser duty any longer hinders me. And since, as I have pointed you out, out to you, the major part of my life has been in respect to what is its main import already wasted, oh. you, you will readily comprehend that I have no time to lose. I am resolved, clasping her hands together tightly tightly together to set sail at once upon that noble voyage which but for the clogging petty impediments of domestic life i should have damn embarked upon 25 years what? ago oh you are all mistakes oh my goodness <laughs> god i wish this game had a little better translation because this is great yeah, i've never i really oh, don't see is... stories like this in no. games yeah her lips i mean you don't see mothers like this. oh definitely not her lips close and her eyes meet in calm and determined challenge those of her hearers. To that challenge, not one of those hearers rises, though it is plain that each of them accept in a different way. The youngest is looking at her mother with a puzzled schoolboy stare. Okay. <laughs> Thomas. Aww. He's got to be like 13 or something. Yeah. Reliable shoes. There are uh, no more. Definitely boarding shoes. school outfit. He's, he's gone. To, he's going to Eaton. So Eaton Men's is... clothing, good men, silk neck, neckerchief. That is the that is a very prestigious shampoo, deep sea colony for men's. I don't know what that. Yeah. All right. Where is the missing item? French pomade. Oh, oh that face is different. Thomas Vane is the youngest Ooh. member of the Vane family tree. He is sixteen. Okay, he does not look sixteen. Um, yeah. 16, I mean, tuberculosis gets you. And he's been studying eating yeah. college for several years. He is mischievous and likes practical jokes, but when he grows up, he wants to be serious and fact, like his father. He's always liked to read, even though books he shouldn't have read as age, especially those about adventurous faraway countries. Of all of them, he cares at least about the integrity of his family. As he was never very close to any of its members, he need not fear for his future, for his family name and his share of the inheritance have assured him a bright future. Okay, so they aren't, they, they are getting yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, Fanny is undistinguished, whimpering, seeing that the pause with pause which she has made in order to give her audience an opportunity for questions or objections is not like to be used for that purpose. Miss Vane presently resumes. During these years, I have done my duty by you according to my lights. If I have lavished fewer caresses upon you than other mothers, I have labored harder than most to impart to you that habit of mind, that mode of regarding life, which are more valuable than my endearments. <laughs> God, she's, I love, I mean, I hate but, her, but I love but, her. Uh, she's great. That I failed to inoculate you with my ideas is due partly to fundamental differences in nature between us, but chiefly to the existence of a strongly antagonistic influence entirely outweighing in rendering. Nurgatory? Sorry. Nugget, nuggetory? N nuggetory. Is that mark. okay? Uh, that influence no longer exists. Oh, he's oh, wow. dead. A slight decorous lowering of her voice notifies if, uh, if my, if any such notify notification were needed, that the illusion is once again to her late husband. But its effect remains. I would fain have led all of all or any of you in the path purpose to tread the only oath that seems to me to be really worth reading but since this is not to be our ways must part so it was All it's right. hard to read the only path that seems to me to be really worth treading but since this yeah. is our way not to be okay we must part yeah life which i bound myself to lead is one that will not admit to settled admit of a settled home uh, it will entail much moving from place to place, much public speaking, a slight uh, writhe on the part of the down-based elder son, 
and entire freedom from the ties of family life. Those ties I, I have, as I believe, now a full right to resign. Three of you, Edward, Claire, and Althea, are of age and therefore legally competent to the conduct of your own affairs. Fanny and Thomas are still minors, and since your father died in... Uh, insensate? Insensate, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you are aware that their guardianship devolved on me. Please give us the background. Yeah, I need that background back. That is. It's hard to read. Yeah, I'm gonna click again. Yeah. I'll just read the ones that without backgrounds. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> that guardianship I have determined to resign to the eldest brother. He, with the professional aid of Mr. Wills, will be able to arrange their future in a manner much more consent consonant to the collective wishes of the family than I could do. I have only to add that I hope we shall part with the reciprocal goodwill. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to dump you all. Hey, I hope you, no, uh, yeah. no hard feelings. No hard feelings, yo. There is, or Althena fancies You're a bunch it, of dubbies. A, a very faint human <laughs> quiver in the metallic voice of the utterance of the wish. As those who respect each other's aims, even while unable to share them, I earnestly hope that you will all prosper in your s several roads. <laughs> Good luck, kids. Yeah. Clara has chosen the, the beaten track in which I wish to find happiness and prosperity. Athena has not yet made a decision. Perhaps she never will. With, with as lender tinge of hope in the intonation if she does not if the progress of time and the development of mind and heart that it brings leads her to feel the pity of humanity more strongly within her than the desire for selfish individual happiness i need not say with what welcome we shall receive her into our ranks i need not detain you any longer ah our background's back she bows her head slightly and turns a ga <laughs> turns <laughs> into her loaded Again to her loaded writing. Again to her loaded Apple, writing table as they file listed. out. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. What do you think of chapter one there? Damn. I love that mom. That mom I, is just I, I love I love all of the writing was very difficult to read because it was all the bugs the, and errors, yeah. The, yeah, the, the bugs, errors, losing the background. Um, you know. Definitely needed proofreading, localization proofreading, and um, I think the font honestly is it, it's a difficult font to read. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but you know, I love that mom. I love the whole like, hey, Althea, like, because she's putting together like, you know, Althea has um, she has a choice in front of her, yeah. and like, if she wants to stay with mom mom would love to have another little socialist join her cult yeah you know um yeah so yeah this is really this is really good what do you think okay well why don't we pause here at chapter one and we can decide if we want to come right. back to this uh another, another time what do you think mpg i i think that's a great idea i, really I, like I think this. this game is is fascinating and i wish yeah I, uh, clearly spanish was their first language and i wish like mm -hmm. they had the, the money to like get a real good translation on it because like i am i'm enthralled by like the situation yeah. the characters the art's good it's just got that one big flaw up front yeah yeah precisely cheers cheers